Hello everyone, you're welcome to today's video and um, this video is not really good news, like it's not the news that people want to hear, especially people that are planning to move down to the UK, you know, it is not the best news, right? And But the thing is, this has been long coming. If you've been following my channel, I've been keeping you updated with all the crap down on immigrants, um, students, dependents, and all of that in the UK. This has been in the works for quite a long time. It started with the past administration, you know, feeling like too many immigrants were coming into the UK, you know, and they just tried to find ways to curb this. And most of the immigrants, foreign immigrants that have been making it to the UK in recent times has been through the study visa, right? So students have been bringing a whole lot of dependents into the UK. First of all, even the number of students increased, it skyrocketed, right, in the past two years and even last year. And they saw that these students, they are coming for one year courses and they are bringing in family members. People are taking in as many as four dependents, six dependents, you know, and this raised a lot of eyebrows. They felt like people were using the study visa as a pathway to move their family to settle permanently in the UK. And they are so not cool with that. You know, so the Home Secretary, Swella Breverman, who has always been an advocate to reducing the number of immigrants into the UK, you know, is really working tirelessly to see how they can ban students from bringing their family when they are coming for a one year course. So this is real, it is happening, all right? And in this video, I'm gonna give you all the latest information about this. So if you're planning, you know, to move down to the UK, as a student and you have dependents, then you really need to watch this video. If you're just meeting, my name is Jackie. You're welcome to the channel. And if you know me already, thank you so much for coming back to watch my video. I truly appreciate all the support. If you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, please send me an email. Let's talk about your own personal needs for relocation. And of course, subscribe to the channel, right? So you can be seeing more updates from me. And also give this video a thumbs up, you know, give this video a like, just a way of supporting the channel. You know, just say, Jackie, thank you for all the content you post here. Just give the video a like, all right? Thank you so much for that. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go straight into reading a news report about this. So let's get to see what they are saying, all right? Okay, so let's start with this one. UK to limit international student dependent visas as migration rises. So due to, you know, the rise in migration, you know, they just want to limit dependent visas. So one person coming as a student does not pack like four people to come in with them. So there's this statistics on the number of dependents that came in. So let me just read that. The number of students bringing family members with them increased by almost 30% in 2022 making up 135,788 student visas, right? Almost 100,000 of these were granted to family members of Indian and Nigerian students. So of all the nationalities, you know, that are granted student visas, they say that Indians and Nigerians brought in the most family members. So they are not even the people that get the most student visas. I think in this, in the in one statistics I saw, the the country that had the most students admitted into you know the UK for last year was China. China actually topped the list of the most foreign students that you know migrated to the UK in 2022, right? But they were not going with their family members, so. Indians and Nigerians, you know, had the highest number of family members join them, you know, for their studies in the UK. So they are looking for how to make it impossible. I mean, this has even started already. I know someone who got admission for the January intake in, in the UK and paid, you know, the part payments for the school fees and all of that. And when it was time to give her this pass to apply for her visa, she realized that there was no provision for dependence. So she called the school and the school told her that her cast does not involve dependence visa, that she cannot come into the UK with dependence on her study visa. So it's something that has started already. Not everybody can you know, get dependence even as we speak already. That already started since in January of 2023. So September, which is like the biggest intake, you know, we are going to see so many families stranded because many people 
want to move with their family. Not everybody wants to go for a one-year course and leave their family behind. Many people want to go with their family, if their spouse and their children also. And if we are being honest, many people that want to migrate just are just using the study route just as a pathway. They are not like so interested in study, right? So they just want to move with their family and study seems to be the easiest. And so they try to use that pathway. I mean, it's no secret. Even the home office knows this. Okay, so let me read this report by The Sun. It says here, immigration crackdown. Most foreign students to be banned from moving family to the UK in major immigration crackdown. And this was published on the 20th of May. Most foreign students will be banned from bringing family over to Britain in an immigration crackdown being announced this week. So it's going to be announced this week. It's going to be made like official, right? It comes as foreign figures out this Thursday. I expect us to show that net migration has rocketed to 1 million. A string of alarm Tory MPs have broken cover to call for Rishi Sunak to get a grip on the rocketing numbers. Scrambling to get ahead of the bad news, ministers are expected to announce the immigration clampdown on Tuesday or Wednesday. The crackdown will see master students and many other postgrads banned from bringing family over. So this is going to be announced Tuesday or on Wednesday, right? So we should expect that information this week. The ban will not apply to PhD students whose courses usually last between three to five years and are very highly skilled, right? So yeah, another reason, another reason, you know, what, what they mentioned, you know, back last year when, they, you know, this conversation started, they said that the dependents are taking up low-skilled jobs in the UK. They are not so educated. They're just taking up low-skilled jobs and all of that. And Swella Breverman felt like it was an issue. So the UK needs highly skilled people. And these dependents are not exactly highly skilled, according to what they said back in 2022. I did a video about that. So you can see it here. It's written here that the ban will not apply to PhD students whose courses usually last between three to five years and are very highly skilled, right? So the master's courses, they just, they just want to stop people coming in to study for one year from bringing their family because they feel like if you're coming to the UK for just a one-year course, why do you need to bring your family along, right? So they want to stop that so people can just come in, study, and after the one year, they return back to their countries, you know, to meet their family. So that's, that's basically what is going on. And like I said, it has started already. Not everybody that moved to the UK on the January intake were able to move with their family. A lot of them, their cars had no provision for dependents. Many people got stranded. And that is why I've been doing a lot of videos, you know, telling you about other pathways, other countries, right, where you can go study, other alternatives to the UK. I've done videos on my channel how you can even go study for free. You know how expensive, you know, school fees is in the uk right you can go study in another country and pay as low as 25 dollars a year right so it's happening i've done a video about that and there are other countries where you can even go study free of charge i've done videos about that so you don't really need to like put all your eggs in uk right you can try other countries as well and that is why i i keep encouraging people other countries do exist, try them out, you know, because the UK has seen so many people are moving down and they are not so happy about it. They don't want so many people moving into their country and all these things they are doing is going to make it very difficult for people planning to migrate with their family on, you know, a permanent basis to make it into the UK. So in order not to have all your plans, you know, you, you get your admission, you even pay your deposit and all of that, and then your met with a shocker that you cannot go with your dependents why not just have a plan b look at other countries as well so you're not caught up in you know this whole web of not being able to move down to the uk to study with your dependents all right so do check out my other videos about other countries other amazing countries you can go study and let me just mention a few of them right so there is iceland there is czech republic austria there is um norway there's germany there is france there's italy there's portugal all these countries are countries where you can go study cheaper than the UK. Some of those countries are free.
All right, so it's something you should check out. So I just thought I should bring this news to you. So if you are still, you know, planning to move down to the UK as a student and you have dependents, so you can know that this is something that may affect you, so you can start having your plan B. So let's see how this pans out. As soon as, you know, an official, you know, announcement is made concerning this, like I said, it's going to be out Tuesday or on Wednesday. So as soon as it's announced officially, I'm going to update you. I'll surely do a video to let you know what the new situation is. So before then, just subscribe to my channel and possibly turn on the post notification bell so you know when I post that video, alright? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jackie and I'll see you in my next video.